Hello, let's take a look at some concentration examples. A pharmacist must prepare a parenteral nutrition that includes 650 milliliters of dextrose 70%. If the pharmacy only stocks dextrose 50%, how many milliliters of the dextrose 50% will be needed to provide an equivalent energy requirement? So for step one, you want to express dextrose 70% as a grams per milliliter. Dextrose 70% also means 70 grams over 100 milliliters. You want to then calculate the amount of grams in dextrose 70% in 650 milliliters. 70 grams over 100 milliliters equals X over 650 milliliters. So you want to find out how many grams are in 650 milliliters. And you get 455 grams. Then you want to express dextrose 50% as grams per milliliter. That would be 50 grams over 100 milliliters. Then you want to calculate the volume of dextrose 50% needed to contain the mass of the dextrose 70%. So we got 455 grams from the previous step. We got That would be over X. And you want to see how many milliliters you need to have a concentration of 50 grams over 100 milliliters. And that would be 910 milliliters. So that would provide the equivalent energy requirement. Let's look at example two. The pharmacist needs to manufacture a 7% ointment using 34 grams of a 10% boric acid ointment base. How much diluent is required? Step one, you want to set up the allegation grid. So for concentrations, you can solve it using this method. This is the grid. You want to place the higher percent strength on the top left. And you want to place the lower strength on the bottom left and the percent of the desired would be right in the middle. And then you want to insert the information into the corresponding sections of the grid. So the 10%, which is the higher percentage strength, would be on the top. And then you got the 0%, which is the diluent, which contains no concentration of drug. That would be 0%. It would be on the bottom left. And your desired was 7%. So after that, you want to subtract the higher and lower strength from the desired strength. So how you would do that is you want to subtract 10 from 7% or 7% 7 from 10 and you get 3 parts. Then you want to subtract 0 from 7. These are absolute numbers so there's no negatives. So 0 minus 7 equals negative 7 but you put 7 parts. And then you want to add these parts, so 10 parts total equals 7 parts of 10% boric acid plus 3 parts of 0% or diluent. Next you want to do proportions to solve the amount of diluent needed. So you got 7 parts of the 10% boric acid ointment and you got 3 parts of 0% which is a diluent. You got 34 grams of the 7 parts of 10% and you want to find out the proportions to see how many grams of the three parts so when you cross multiplies you get 14.6